Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to delete a student from a roster and how to, de how to delete a student profile. So this is a very important difference because, um, so I'll show you here why that is. So let's say that you're looking at um, a student profile. So the sample profile here, um, I have two different uh, um, rosters. I have out of school active 2016-2017 and out of school active 2017-2018. So let's say that that the student Kara Purcell was enrolled um, in 2016-2017 and 2017-2018. If you delete the profile, it will delete all information for all of her um, uh, model services, any information that was entered for both years. So let's say that we want to just remove her um, from this year's roster. Let's say that she was there last year, she received services, um, services were entered for her, and then she was put on this year's roster, but she is no longer engaged, she moved out of state, she's incarcerated, whatever it is, and we don't want her on the roster this year we're going to simply remove her from the roster. We're not going to delete her profile. So the way that you do that is you select the student name like this underneath the roster. You select the rosters tab, and then you'll see the rosters that the student is on. And you'll see these little buttons here. Okay, so what you'll do is you're going to click the remove from roster button for whichever roster you want to remove the student from. So if I want to remove her from this year's roster, I would select this button. Sometimes when you click it, it's going to read pending. There will be a little um, red X with the word pending next to it. In that case, you need to send me an email and I will confirm the removal. Sometimes when you click it, it will just remove it right away. It will ask you that. It will say okay, and it removes just like that. I'm not really sure why it does it sometimes and why it does it other times. That's just how it is. If there is a situation where you're actually going to delete a roster, so this would be like when you um, enter a profile completely that um, just like if you, for example, this would happen when a duplicate duplicated profile is entered, when two profiles are entered, um, like if, if there were two care for cells entered, or if there was a profile entered under your um, school and another school, like the student, and you want to delete it from your school entirely, that's when we use this button here. But very rarely do we use this button because when you delete it, you're deleting all of the information that was ever entered and it messes up a lot of our information in terms of our count numbers from the previous year or our model service numbers. So very rarely do you want to do this. Um, and that's always going to ask you um, for confirmation. And um, it's also, um, let's see here. Uh, and so in that case, it just let me delete it. Sometimes it will ask you, it will be it will be a pending situation, which it should be, but in that case, it was not. So if you ever get the pending um, sign, just ask me to confirm the removal. So that is the difference between removing a student from a roster and removing a student's profile entirely.